right, Fred and Keith back with Get the Most of Your Workout. Keith's on the other side of the camera, so you just got to look at me. We've last week talked about the common lunge matrix in three dimensions. Now we're talking about the uncommon way. So this is still three dimensions, but instead of leading off going to the front, we're going to go to the back. We're going to do a backward lunge, rotating away from the lead leg, lead leg being the moving leg. So the uncommon matrix looks like this, lunge back, lunge back. That's our front to back dimension. Second dimension is side to side, but unlike last week where we went to the same side, this week we're going to lunge to the opposite side, where it's a crossover lunge behind you. You can also do that in front of you, just a cross step, and in a side to side dimension, that helps your hips get more mobility side to side. You can add a medicine ball if you like to add a little more complication to the abdominals up top. That's our uncommon way to lunge crossover in front, crossover behind. The last dimension is a little more complicated. Last week we rotated to the same side. This week we're rotating to the opposite side. And when I rotate to the opposite side, I'm getting a really good stretch on my plant leg. My plant leg is turning in. So the way this looks is you just kind of twist in, twist in. Think of it as making the letter T between your plant leg and your lunging leg. Do not rotate too far on this so that you don't twist your plant knee. So it's a real short lunge, it's more of a squat in a T position. Okay. So to review, here is the uncommon lunge matrix. Lunge back, lunge back, lunge across, lunge across, make a T, make a T. There you have it, three dimensions is our key. That's getting the most out of your workout with the uncommon lunge matrix. Thanks for watching.